What is up, guys? So today we are going to be making a really good cake that I made uh, one time, twice, I don't know. But it's really good. So uh, I may not make another one. So if we get 50 likes on this video, I will make another video cooking, something like that. My sister. So if we get 50 likes, okay? Uh, yeah, 50 likes. Okay. So it is my grandmother's red devil uh food cake so it's super good uh i'll put the great grandma my great grandmother's uh food, red devil's food cake so i'll put the ingredients all in the description below so before we start remember to like and subscribe so let's get on so first you need you need uh you will need uh vanilla extract baking soda you need to have your measuring things sugar flour salt cocoa butter milk uh i think that's it uh, butter nine, milk nine, nine, nine yeah and you also will need a nine by nine yeah we'll find it Where nine it? by nine so it's something like this it's like this. Uh, you can also, but, yeah. so let's get started. No, no. So uh, here we are. So um, also this is the first time we're using our new mixer. Yeah, so this is our new mixer. So uh, yeah, so I need to get the butter. Okay, so Sister. next, guys, we're going to be doing the sugar yeah. because Probably I want to do dry one. ingredients first. And then also always do the baking soda last. That's most important. So we're going to dump this in like so. Just make sure you get all of that in. Okay, and then next, flour. So next we're gonna do flour. So it's one and a half cups. That was one cup, by the way. This is gonna be one and a half cups of flour. And you wanna sift this all in there. So, um, I need. It has to be sifted. I'll just, I'll keep that for now. Push, push down. Yeah, next is flour. So just one and a half, and you're gonna have to sift it. So I'm just gonna be doing a fourth right now. Since, um, I don't have the bigger one right now. It, it's not working right now. So you just want to dump that that in. Uh, then I'm going to sift. Uh, I'll do another fourth. To get two fourths. So, uh, actually. Okay, you shouldn't be using your hand, but that's all right. Uh. <laughs> okay, so that's half of what you need. No, that's three fourths. Right, you need a half. Oh one yeah. Half, two so, uh, yeah. So, yeah. My mom's gonna sift a bit. Okay. So it's gonna take a while. So we're gonna cue the time lapse. How do you do that? To, just pause it. I just did three fourths. Now, but remember, it's one half, so I'm going to do another three-fourths of it. Let's put this in here. Okay. So we're just going to do it all at one time. So just just do that do step over again. Um, so, yeah. Next, we are going to take the butter, and uh, we're going to do one about a half. Half a, a stick. A stick. Four, four, four tablespoons. Four See? tablespoons. Yes, this is the this is the, this is the sharper part. So just cut that in half. So I've got that, and then uh, I'm gonna put it into my mixture. Okay, I'm do it. Open it up first. Now. Yeah, I gotta open it up. And I'm gonna. Wait, wait. No, no. We're gonna cut it. Should cut it. Cut it. In Sorry. Slices. So we're gonna just gonna cut into some slices. Okay. So I'll 
I'll just put that in there. Just put the butter in. Next, we need to put the egg in. Mm -hmm. One egg. Just one egg. <laughs> so I'm just going to... having some trouble. So I'm just going to do it into a smaller bowl. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Oh, whoops. <laughs> it just make a funny, it's a funny joke. Huh. Oh, it's, it's a hard boiled egg. Hard boiled <laughs> We picked the wrong egg. So here's oh our actual egg. <laughs> so just crack it and I'm going to put it into a smaller one. Because? Because, well, it's just easier for me. It's also in case a little shell gets yeah, in Yeah, just in case a shell gets in, and you don't just want to have to, like... put it in the sink. And then we'll yeah. put this in here. Mm-hmm. Uh, just so that mm -hmm. stop. We're going to put our vanilla. No, stop, stop, stop. Okay, so next you want to have a half cup of milk. So I'm just going to pour it over Could there. Could you buy these at Christmas? Okay, and then you want to carefully put that the milk in. That looks good. Next, guys, you want to do one teaspoon of a vanilla extract. Extract. So I'm just gonna measure it out here. There we go. And then put the one in. <laughs> Guys, so next we're gonna be doing some cocoa. You need three tablespoons, and I've already got it right here. And then after you do that, you're gonna have to get the, you're gonna have to get boiling water, a half a cup, I think. So I've got it here, and I'm gonna dump it into here. And then my, the water. You're just gonna want to dump it in, Put it in. Yeah. and then next you wanna you wanna stir this together. This is really gonna bring in bring out that that flavor. Okay, so remember, guys, to get the bottom, make sure all that cook goes off the bottom. Okay, let's put this aside. I think we're supposed to do this in order. <laughs> I think we should do the butter next. Okay, and then there we are. So I'm gonna dump it in there. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna dump it. Okay. So let's get this over here. You're just gonna wanna dump it in right away. This is really gonna give some of the main flavor. This means cake. Okay, so next you want to get your baking soda and get uh, one tablespoon of baking soda. Teaspoon. Teaspoon, sorry. Teaspoon. So level that off. And there's one of that. And then you're going to want to dissolve it so we need some water. Of course, I'm going to get a tiny bit of water. Is that boiling water right there? No, nah, it doesn't need water. A teensy bit, not that much. So you're just gonna let that dissolve. Uh, so I'm gonna use this just to remember to get the bottom. Just mix that around to help it dissolve. So I think that is. Yeah, 
we have to mix this together. Before you do the um the baking, baking soda, soda, you wanna do you wanna beat this with uh this thing mixer and so stir. Hold on, hold on, I gotta lock it. Yeah, okay. so you just wanna put it on the lowest setting. Wait, hold on, we gotta we gotta plug it in. Turn it off. Turn it off. Got it, so we're gonna start. Yeah, so you just want it to uh, up a little bit? Just keep it high. Okay, so yeah, you're just gonna wanna let that stir. Once you guys get it all done, you're gonna know if it's done, if all the lumps are out. So, yeah, you want to have all the lumps out. Then once you're done with that, tell them what level you want to. Uh, I want to, first I want to stir for a little bit, then I did two, and then I went up to four for a little bit, and then I just gradually went down. So next you're going to want baking soda. So get some, some bake, just a little bit of baking soda. And then you want to get some water in it, and then just like stir it around and to help it dissolve. I think I'm about done. And so I'm just gonna pour it in. So you're not gonna beat that, I don't think. You're gonna stir it. So it says fold it. Yeah, you're gonna fold it about 10. So, okay, sauce. So. Get all that baking soda in, then you wanna turn it about 10 times. Fold it, 30 fold times. Fold it about 30 times, sorry. Yeah, yeah so. Guys, so yeah, just turn it 30 times and yeah and then you're gonna let this like put this off to the side for just a second and we're gonna we're just gonna put it off to the side and we're gonna grease the pan and so i'm not gonna put the spray kind thing uh i'm gonna yeah you can but i'm gonna use crisco so you want to just like wipe it around Make sure to get the edges because you don't want it to start sticking to the pan. So I uh, did it all with Crisco. So you wanna have it like that. And next, you wanna take your big thing of this. And you're just gonna, I'm gonna take, yeah, you just wanna put this in. Get it all in. So you use two people if you need to. Yeah, you can use two people if you want to. I'm using two people. You need to get the bottom. Make sure you get all It's a lot there. easier to have two people do it, especially if, uh, if it's such a large yeah. amount. I can't see it. So we're just gonna let her do that. This bowl gets kind of heavy, and it's uh, it doesn't look like very much in the pan, but it it when you cook it, it'll it cooks up. A, yeah. Okay, so I think we're about done. Tell them how much the temperature is and stuff. Okay, so the temperature. Oh. Wait, what? The oven. So uh, I finished and I put it all in here. So you want to preheat the oven to 375. And uh, you'll cook it for about 40 to 45 minutes. So check out 40 and see how it is. Uh, how do you check it? Uh, you want to use the uh, a toothpick, and if it's like runny, then you want it to come out clean. Yeah, you want it to come out clean. So yeah, we'll see ya. While that uh, that cake is cooking, we're gonna make the the frosting. So first you need uh, confectioner's sugar, cocoa powder, butter, 
and then vanilla extract. So let's get, go for it. So three cups of this right here. Okay, and that's three cups of confectioner's sugar. So you're just gonna mix this all together. Now we need two thirds of cocoa powder. So here we go, and then I'm gonna take the one third. Let's do two of them. Here we are. Give me one. So two thirds of this. Yeah, I have enough. Okay, right. and that's two. Yep. Okay. So, done with the cocoa powder. So we've got that stuff done. Next, we need uh, a half uh, stick of butter. So I already did it. Um, so you wanna. Put it in the microwave and set it for like 30 seconds or so. And then let it melt. And then uh, you have it like this. And you just want to put it in there. It's going to be really good. Okay, now seven tablespoons of milk. So like I said earlier, I do not have a tablespoon. So I'm just going to use teaspoons, so time lapse. So guys, it's actually uh, 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 one whole stick. Before I said it was half a stick, it's actually one whole stick. Sorry about that. With the seven tablespoons of Anyway, um, next you want to do one, so you're just mixing this all together, of course. Next you want to do one t teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just one teaspoon. One teaspoon. And that's everything. So next, we are gonna have to go to the blender thing, I guess. And we're gonna mix this all together. Okay, so it looks like it's finally done. So the toothpick trick, so you just do a toothpick, put it right at the center. And if it comes out like, like, you want it to come out clean like that, so that means it is done. That only took 40 minutes. So, yeah, so just... Try, do it in another spot. Just, just So, sure. just, let's do it, like, right there. Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. And that is done. Okay. So, now, guys, so I got it in here, and we are gonna stir it all together. Just do it on this So, yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. Uh, I got it all the way done. So like I did with the other thing, just gradually go up and then come back down. Okay, so remember like when you're done, you know when you're done, if you got all the lumps out and then just get the sides, push that down so you can get more of it. So then, now we're gonna bring it over to the cake. Okay, so we got all of it on, and now you just want. We are gonna be putting on the um, the frosting. So remember, you have to let this sit for a while because if you just do it really right out of the oven, 
it's not gonna really look too good. So you wanna just take it, and just start spreading it out. Well, I would probably dump it a little bit. Um. So yeah. it on and now you just want to spread it out so yeah dump it and then you just want to spread it out it's very sweet so just so want to get down small pieces yeah so we're going to spread it out get in all around the cake Yeah, I think we're all done with that. And that is our final product. Is this? It's really good. Uh, final product. Let's taste it. See how it is. Oh, I'm super scared. That is so good. I recommend trying that, guys. So good. I mean, her cake is amazing. Thank you, guys. See you later. Remember to like and subscribe. Remember, if we get 50 likes, I will do another um, cooking video. So remember to like and subscribe. See you.